Home sweet home. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things and welcome to my new studio apartment. Today is my official move-in day. I finally got the keys to this place last night after work and here I am. As you can see, I brought with me the essentials, my camera setup and lighting, but other than that, that's pretty much all I have with me right now. My guess from about two weeks ago when I said I was gonna be super busy was spot on. I've been busy as hell this whole time, but I figured while I'm moving stuff in today, I might as well pick up the camera and show you guys what I got going on. So, how about an apartment tour? Here's my bedroom, here's the kitchen, bathroom's back here, this is my office, this is the living room, and this is where I'm gonna be making videos for the next couple of weeks, months, however long I'm gonna be here. This is definitely one of the smallest apartments I've ever lived in, but I'm a pretty simple guy, so I'm gonna make the most out of this space. One thing that I can tell needs work is this echo. Can you guys hear that? I'm pretty sure you can hear that. I'm thinking once I get a bed and a couch and some other soft things in here, it'll absorb the extra sound that's bouncing off the walls. But until then, this is what you're stuck with. I've got a lot of my things en route to the apartment right now, but I'm definitely gonna have to go out today and shop for some new things for the place as well. If I had to guess, I would say today's gonna turn into one giant unboxing video. gonna be your second vlog appearance in a row. So my mom came to the rescue and brought all the stuff. Not all the stuff, but some of the stuff. First thing to unbox is a bed. Since I travel a lot, it's a pain in the ass to actually bring a normal bed with you. At home, I normally sleep on a sleep number, which is an air mattress. And this is an air mattress too, but it's not just like a typical pump up bullshit one. It's an air mattress, it's a full size, and it's got a pump built into it, but it also has a never flat pump. So you leave it in the wall, and if it ever deflates over time, it pumps itself up silently while you're sleeping. It doesn't wake you up. This should work pretty well. How convenient is that? If you move around a lot and you have a lot of furniture, I think that is one of the best things that you can recommend for a bed. Next thing to a box is an external monitor. I'm not sure why I didn't have one of these before because I do all of my editing on my 15 inch MacBook Pro, but I'm gonna set this up on the desk and hopefully it will make editing a lot easier. Next up, I have boxes from my P.O. box that I'm not quite sure what everyone is, but let's take a look. Hi, thanks for taking the time to check out my new product, the Magna Belt. Worked long and hard on this project. Seems to be some kind of belt, which by the way, I'm still using my Trayvac cinch. It's pretty convenient, I guess. This belt has been designed to be the fastest latching, most convenient EDC belt you've ever used. T6 aluminum, CNC machine, three pieces anodized coating. Okay, so this company is apparently starting a Kickstarter for this product. All right, Mike, thanks for the prototype belt. I'm definitely gonna test it out once I have some time and probably do a video on it in the future. If you guys wanna check out this belt or the Kickstarter or find any information on it, I'll be sure to leave a link for it down in the description. Next package is from Teespring and I already pretty sure I know what this is because I backed my own campaign because I wanted a dopest vlog in the game hoodie. By the way, thanks to anyone who backed the Teespring campaign. We didn't sell that many shirts and I wasn't really expecting to, but if you did pick up a shirt or a hoodie, you're one of the few who has one. Next package is something that I was also expecting. New order of pop sockets are in. I'm gonna put these in my store tonight. I will leave the link down in the description and you guys can pick these up. I actually gave away the pop socket on my phone to some girl at the bar last night. <laughs> She was like, what is that thing? I'm like, oh, it's a pop socket. You hold your phone with it. You can use it as a stand to watch videos. And she's like, that's cool. I'm like, you can have it. I'm getting new ones. <laughs> so these new pop sockets have the dopest vlog in the game red box logo on it, as well as the TS logo in the middle. I think they came out looking all right. I'm gonna put one on my phone right now, actually. There we go. 
black looks good on black phones, obviously. Black goes good with everything, but a little inconspicuous. Ooh. I have like a hundred of these, I think. So once they're gone, they're gonna be gone for a while. Now next up and probably the coolest thing to unbox in this whole video is my couch, which actually isn't a couch, but it's a love sack. If you've been on the internet anywhere in the past couple of years, you've probably seen these things somewhere or on Instagram or on Twitter. But basically it's a giant beanbag chair, but it's not a beanbag chair because it's not filled with beans. It's filled with foam, they're really high quality, and they are really expensive. This thing is massive, it seats like three plus people, and normally I wouldn't be willing to shell out like a thousand dollars or whatever the retail price is for these. However, they had a sale last weekend, 25% off all of their sacks, so I picked one up. This is just the cover for it, which I got in black, and I got the super sack size, which isn't the biggest one, but it's the second biggest. Definitely big enough for what I need. Now, a lot of you know my friend Rhodes, shout out to Rhodes. He has one of these, he has a smaller one, and he told me that when you unbox this thing, it's pretty cool to watch and see because this is like super densely packed foam. This thing right here weighs like 75 pounds. It's kind of the pain in the ass to move around, but I'm just gonna show you how the unboxing works. They have videos online of like how you're supposed to set everything up properly, but I'm assuming as soon as I pull this zipper, there's no way this thing is ever going back in this bag. Now this thing does take a little while to expand to its full size. They recommend letting it sit for a little while after you kind of break it up yourself. One hour later. This is where this thing is at right now. It's been about an hour and it's looking pretty good. It's pretty good. This is the cover for it, which helps protect it and hold its shape a little bit. I'm not gonna put this on quite yet. We're gonna go out, grab some more stuff for the apartment. I'm gonna give this thing a little bit more time to fluff out. Once we get back, I'll throw this cover on and set everything else up. All right, and we're back to a completely finished, complete apartment. Everything came together pretty nicely. I think, like I said, putting things in the room kind of stopped the echo for the most part. So hopefully the video sounds better now. To recap, got my bedroom over here, the kitchen over here, which still has nothing in it, but I'll get to that later. I know you can't see it, but the bathroom looks pretty good. The office where I'm gonna be doing all of my editing. The love sack, which can hold three people, playing video games in the living room. And that's pretty much it, it's the whole apartment. Today was a long ass day and I'm probably not doing much later tonight, so instead of going out and bringing the camera with me, let me just explain to you what I'm doing in the next couple of weeks. Tomorrow is obviously Sunday gun day, but being that I'm in New Jersey now, I got some more things to straighten up around here. I think I'm gonna do a Q&A Sunday gun day. When I did my Q&A video last weekend, a ton of people asked gun related questions, which I obviously didn't answer in that video right there. So instead, starting tomorrow, I'm gonna put a post up on my Instagram if you want me to answer a question related to guns, firearms, anything of that nature, head on over to my Instagram. I'll leave a link for it right here and ask your question on that picture. Unfortunately, next weekend will also not be a Sunday gun day because it's Memorial Day weekend and I have some plans. I'm not going to explain what those plans are, but I'm going to be traveling. I'm going to be with a bunch of my friends, which you guys know, and it's going to be a good time. I'm looking to make about two or three videos that weekend and there's going to be a lot of new stuff in there, so I'm excited for that. Then the following weekend, the first weekend in June, I'll finally be leaving here, going back home to Pennsylvania and then I will try to make the biggest best Sunday gun day ever since I'm gonna be skipping these two weeks. Other than that during the week if anything comes up that's video worthy I'm definitely gonna try to bring you guys as many videos as possible. I really don't have much stuff planned right now but we'll see how it goes. So I guess that's it for today. If you guys made it this far in the video please leave a like on it. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think about my new place and that's it. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.